Hello again, folks. This is Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part seven of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Adobe Premiere Elements. And we've got kind of a finished movie, nearly finished. You can see it's got music, it's got narration, it's got several layers of video and special effects. And now we want to add titles to the movie. Adding titles, there's actually a number of ways to do it. If you just want to add a generic title, all you need to do is find a place on your timeline, position your playhead, go up here to text, and select new text, default text, and just like that, you can create a title. Let's give it a little more room here, and we can call this summertime. Once your text is written, you can select it like this. You can colorize it any color you want. You can enlarge it either by changing the number or dragging, scrubbing across that number. You can change its font, any font that's on your computer you can use, its style, its alignment, and then you can align it within the frame. This will automatically, these buttons will automatically align it left and right and up and down. And if you select the selection tool rather than the text tool, you can grab it, you can resize it by grabbing on the corners and position it wherever you'd like. Now your title is more than just text. Uh, you can affect the text style. You can add some animation to it. Kind of cool. Some of these will make your text or your letters or your words dance around. You can draw shapes and add them. Or with this title adjustments area open, you can go over here to text tools. You can even import an image. So all of those things can be a part of a single title. Now that's if you want to create your title from scratch. I'm just going to select that title on the timeline and delete it. There we go. There's also a library of titles, actually a couple of categories of titles. If you go over here to the toolbar on the right and you select, you see that you have both classic titles and classic titles come in a variety of categories here in a variety of styles. Generally with classic titles, you have one that's kind of a, a main title. Uh, one that's sort of a rolling title, and one that's called a lower third, and lower third just covers the lower third of your screen. It's usually identifying a person or place that's in your movie. But you can see they come in a variety of styles, some of them very obvious, some of them taking up your entire screen, and some of them much more subtle. These can, of course, be modified just as simple as your made-from-scratch title can be modified. There's also a collection of motion titles, and these motion titles have animations applied to them. And if I were to drag one down to my timeline here, I can select and customize the elements in them. So for instance, if I don't want a white band, if I want a blue band instead, I can select and swap in elements there. And I can make the background, either use the background that they've given me or import a background or make the background completely transparent so that we see, let's here we go. The video underneath instead and these like i say are the motion titles are animated so they have like a little motion in them there we go and any title can be customized in pretty much any way you can imagine here too once you've created a title you can edit it anytime you want just by double clicking on the title on the timeline and that opens up this title adjustments area again where you have access to any of the tools you need to customize the title and then to leave the adjustments area you can either close the window by clicking on its selection here on the toolbar or the easiest way is just to click on the timeline itself and that will shut that title adjustments area down and you'll be back into editing the timeline it's very simple but there is a huge library here to both classic and motion titles depending on whether you prefer to work from set templates or create a title on your own now if you join me in part eight we're going to show you how to finally finish and output our movie that's in part eight of basic training with Adobe Premiere Elements.